For the ninja, the biggest problem was survival. Ninja means spy, and they had to spy on and sometimes assassinate the samurai, but there was a problem. Ninjas were not the elite, they were farmers. This means they could not own a katana, so how can they fight against the samurai? They solved this problem by turning their farming tools into weapons. The most common ninja weapon was also the most common farming tool, the sickle. The ninja made it sharper, put a long chain at the end, and used it to entangle the samurai or samurai sword. The ninja called it kusarigama or sickle and chain. Another weapon was kunai knife. This was also a farming tool to make holes on the soil to plant the seeds. The ninja used it as a knife, threw it as an arrow, or used, it, uh, used two of them to climb on castle walls. These weapons would be too heavy and they would make a noise. So what to do? And ninjas created their own light weapons called Shuriken means hidden hand blade. They were original straight iron or steel spike, also called as bow shuriken. But later, for the accuracy, they made, they changed the shurikens like this. Ninja stars, you see many points. Soon, they changed it into ninja stars with many edges. This could be used instead of a knife or sword. They even put the poison at some of the tips made out of deadly botanics or the toad skin. But they mostly use it for distraction. If they were being chased by the enemy, they used to throw these stars to the opposite direction to distract the enemy and then disappear in the dark. The ninja stars were a great solution, but for the nearby castles, they still had to use the swords, but there was a big problem. So, I have two swords now. This one is samurai, this one is ninja katana. The difference is, you see, samurai sword is longer, slightly hard. And uh, samurai always carry their sword like this on their waist. But ninja. They needed to run fast, and they sometimes want their hands free, both hands free. They carry the sword on their back. The samurai sword had to be carried at the belly, and so it would hit things around. So they started carrying it at the back. But there was another problem. The samurai katana was curved. It was very difficult to take out the curved sword in the back, so they made it straight. But there was another problem. When the ninja were on a mission, they needed support to step on. So they started using the sword but made a handguard bigger to step on. But there was another problem. Once they climbed up, they had to get their sword back. So they put a huge rope around the case and pulled it up and they carried the rope in their mouth. But what would happen if the enemy noticed the ninja and hundreds of soldiers cir circled the ninja? Then the ninja would have just jumped into the moat around the castle or run towards the river nearby and use the sword case as a snorkel. There was a metal cap at the end of the sword case that could come off and it helped the ninja breathe under the water. Another common problem was fighting against so many samurais at a castle. If there were only a few ninjas and hundreds of samurais, and what to do? Another problem was fighting against so many samurai on a mission at a samurai castle. So the ninja knew that a smart fighter could win without fighting and the best weapon is the brain. What they have done is trying to use tricks to get the enemy out of the mission area. They used flaming arrows, they threw so many of them into the castle to make a fire. If the castle was on fire, people had to leave the castle and the ninja could easily penetrate the castle without being noticed during the chaos. But there was a problem. Japan has high humidity. You probably have never heard of a forest fire in Japan. So the ninja mastered meteorology to predict dry wind. The ninjas used to fly kites in the morning to predict the wind in the afternoon. And they threw so many flaming arrows into castles to make a fire. If the castle was on fire, people had to leave the castle and they could easily penetrate the castle without being noticed during the chaos. But how about the urban areas? If a ninja is chasing a target in the city, how can a ninja approach a target, eliminate the target, and disappear without getting caught? The solution was simple. The ninja used to disguise themselves. People think the ninja wore black outfit, but this is not true. They wore mostly navy blue, which is less noticeable at night, and also made out of indigo dye. Indigo dye was naturally extracted from plants and believed to have prevented wound infections. They uh, sometimes disguise like an old woman, let's say, I'm a young ninja, but 
pretend like an old woman, hiding my face using a hat, holding a cane like this. The clothes of ninja also had different colors inside and outside to quickly disguise. So if the ninja pretend to be an old peasant, they carried an old stick which may have a hidden blade inside. Or they carried a chigiriki. Chigiriki looks like a cane, but there's a long chain with a weight at the tip. This is similar to the Cyclone chain, which is a good protection against a sword attack. Sometimes a ninja pretend to be a religious monk called Komuso. The, the Komuso wore this basket to meditate better and also give the message that they are not selfish and they don't have an ego. The Komuso went from village to village to collect donations for the temple. The ninja disguised themselves as a Komuso and pretended to be playing the flute, but they used the flute as a blowgun. They used these dangerous arrows with the poison at the tip and these arrows were very precise. But what if the ninja had no weapon at all? What would happen then? Then the ninja used anything as a weapon. Let's presume the ninja is eating ramen noodles and enemy is approaching from behind. They could easily turn their chopsticks into a deadly weapon. How about surviving in the wild? The ninjas are famous for surviving in the wild, but how did they do it? For food, they took the high protein beans, boiled them for hours, and made compact cookies that was enough for one day. The ninja also were masters of meteorology, so they could easily find directions and predict the weather and rain, which are essential to survive in the wild. It's now time to choose the best ninja weapon. Everyone knows in Japan, the most common ninja weapon is Kusarigama or sickle and chain. And all around the world, everybody's impressed with the ninja star. It can be very deadly with the poison at the tips. But in my opinion, the ninja's best weapon was his or her mind and spirit. Why? Because ninjas most of the time did not carry these weapons with them. And ninjas knew the best fighter wins the battles without fighting. I hope you learned something today. See you guys next time.